Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing how to draw the jack-o'-lantern from Plants vs. Zombies. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eye. So I'm going to start on the outside of the eye. I'm going to draw a curve going up to the top and then pulling it down a little bit further on the inside. So let's start by going up to the top. It's almost like a half oval. And then we'll just pull it down on the inside, making sure that this point is lower than the outside. Now I'm going to leave a gap in the center. Starting from the inside, we'll curve up to the top pull it down on the outside again, making sure that the outside lines match up. Now we're going to connect the outside to the inside with a curve. And then in, on the inside edge of the eyes, we're going to draw two small ovals for the pupils, starting from the top, around, and then back up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to give the eye some depth, so we're going to start at the very top on the left side and curve it down towards the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Now below the eyes, we're going to draw on the top edge of the mouth. So we're going to start by lining up the outside edge of the mouth, curving down and in. We're going to draw on a tooth on the side here. So draw a straight line coming down, go straight across, and then we'll pull that back up. Now I want to complete the line, so we're going to continue all the way over towards the right side. On the ends of the mouth, I'm gonna draw a little bracket, just a little curve on the ends. Now from the ends of the mouth, I'm gonna curve down towards the lower part of the mouth. Starting on the left, we're gonna go underneath the tooth and towards the center, then we'll work our way back up towards the right. Let's add some thickness around the mouth. So starting on the inside, on the left, we're just gonna curve around and then down towards the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Now on this tooth, on the inside corner, we're just going to angle in and up, and then we'll draw a short line going all the way up towards the top of the mouth. Let's move up above the eyes and start working in the outside of the pumpkin. So we'll start directly above the left eye, we'll draw a curve going up in the middle, and then down on the right side. Now from here on, draw the stem going up to this flame. So we're going to have to draw the flame first because it overlaps the stem. So starting at the very bottom here, we're going to curve over towards the left, in, and then we'll just pull it out. We'll do the same thing on the right. So we're going to go out towards the right, pull it up a little bit higher, and then flick it out towards the right. On the left side, we're just going to hook it back in, and then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now right from here, we're going to curve over towards the left. Now I want to connect these two points with the little waves. So we're going to start at the top, curving in, out, and then down. Let's add a few little flame bits on the side here. So up here, we're just gonna draw a little wave, curving around. We'll connect the top and the bottom with a curve. Now at the top here, I'm gonna draw one curve going out towards the left, and then we'll connect it on the right side with another curve. Now that we have the flame, let's go ahead and draw on the stem. So right at the base of the flame, we're gonna step over, curving out and down, and we're gonna curve that back in towards the center of this curve. Now we want to draw a thick outside edge. So we're going to step up, curving out and down. Now we're going to hook that back in underneath. Now right where the stem meets this curve, I just want to draw two more wrinkles. One going out and then down and out on the right side. Now let's start working the outside of the pumpkin. So from this point, we're going to step up, I'm going to curve out and around, and then just pull it down towards the side. Do the same thing on the right, going up, around, and then just start to pull it in slightly. Now before I close it up, I want to draw on the lower lip. So just underneath this mouth, we want to draw another curve, starting on the left side, curve down in the middle, and we'll just pull that up on the right. Now these two ends are going to tuck in underneath the lip. Starting on the left, I'm just going to curve down and underneath the lip. Do the same thing on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's our jack-o'-lantern from Plants vs. Zombies. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Halloween playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.